row. They have only been swept once all year. That was by Stanford in late November. Micah Hancock attacking. McGarris with the back set. Right back to Hancock. Asia McClendon. Slade trying to put it away. Good D by Washington. Hancock checks the scene and finds Katie Slade. Point Penn State. Slay was so instrumental in their fifth set in a win over Stanford last weekend. Huge at the net for Penn State. Well, the 6'6 senior out of Raleigh, North Carolina. When talking with these Penn State players yesterday, team chemistry is such a critical thing and, and so easy to let slip away. And they all admitted last year they weren't having a lot of fun playing together. They didn't have that willingness to fight for each other that they have rediscovered this year, and they're playing as a team, playing Penn State Volleyball. And who do we have coming up at the line? Somebody who, in Micah Hancock, who has broken the first two sets open, but they all stressed it yesterday, playing for each other, celebrating each other's successes. And a big play there for Washington to take the serve away from Hancock. She was the one who forced Washington to use all four of its timeouts those first two sets. They get straight out of her service turn. Hancock off the head and the kill for Scott. Been able to utilize all their weapons. As Russ Rose told Maria Taylor, they really were not knocked out of system a whole lot by Washington through the first couple of sets. That side of Van Sant. Courtney read. covers. Good read by Courtney. Orlandini kept it alive, and now Van Sant gets a second swing. Free ball for Washington. So Belden calling for it, and this hits it. So even with this order on the Penn State side, they still get a point out of it. Yeah, Washington just can't get any production out of its middle attack. Hitting them essentially, they've gotten zero points, as many kills as errors. And the back set down the line, and in. Point you do. Time Penn State chose to leave Munoz one on one down the line. She threaded the needle. Watch Katie Slay step to her, step to her right on that play. The middle hitter, middle blocker, stepping out of the way. Slay gets the kill. Penn State not allowing Washington to get on a run of several points in a row to start building some momentum to bring the crowd back. Over 17,000 on hand inside Key Arena here in Seattle. Just a stone's throw from the Washington campus. And there's a corner shot for Van Sant. Not a very smooth side out by Washington. A poor pass and a scramble. What a set by Orlandini to give Van Sant the swing opportunity. We've seen Washington struggling with its middle attack. Meanwhile, Katie Slay already several kills this game. Penn State getting production from every single hitter. And got the back set to Scott. Point Penn State. Husky fans thought that was a tape job. Lacey Fuller will come on to serve. there. Courtney tips. Good save by Washington. Back row attempt. McClendon saved by the Huskies. Blocked there for Penn State. And slide
fighting under the net, Washington. So a point for the Nittany Lions. And Sant tips in the middle. Hancock quick in the transition for Penn State. Well, boy, can you see how much Penn State is stressing this Washington team? They try, Washington tries to run and forcing the time out there. Tries to run Christopher Van Zandt into a different segment of the, in, actually into the middle of the court. Misconnection, no, no offense for Washington right now. Eight to four Penn State, Katie Slay. How about six kills, four blocks without a hitting error tonight for the Nittany Lions. How about the highlight for Husky Nation, the 2005 National Championship match against Nebraska and the Huskies, what was it, 3 nothing, And Nebraska had to call a timeout. And UW never looked back as they got the sweep. Three zip, the first title in school history. Crystal Morrison, Courtney Thompson, and company leading the way. Their lone national championship. Let's check in with Maria. Well, I've got Courtney Thompson here, 2005 national champion. You know, you got to tell me about what coach was like. And you said you have a very special relationship with him and how he's changed the game for you. He's, he's just an incredible guy, you know. And, and everyone knows how good he is on the court, but he's a hard guy and he's an, an incredible man and a good family man. And I, I just feel like I got so lucky. I hit the jackpot playing for him. And, um, and I know all these girls feel the same way. Well, I see you closely watching the game. What do you think it takes for Washington to do the same thing they get against USC and come back from down two? Yeah, you know, we just got to get back to what we do, you know, serve tough and get them out of system. They got some big hitters and they're taking some big swings, but, um, you know, get our passing going and, and serve tough. And that's always a good start. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Thank you, Courtney. You want to tell with the interview there, Courtney Thompson, who has her uh, jersey retired now, over at Heckhead Pavilion. It is going to take something special for Washington to slow down the train right now. 5-0 run for Penn State. You on the court for Washington. Oh, talk about Courtney Thompson. What a pleasure to watch that 2005 championship team and the toughness that they showed. And she was the one that really laid the foundation for that group. And even though they didn't win in 06, they hosted a regional here. Penn State had a very strong team, but flew all the way across the country, lost here, and then didn't get a chance to try to win. If Penn State had somehow won that, that would have actually made them five in a row, 06 yeah. through 2010. But Washington, another Pac-12, a third Pac-12 championship for them this season. An outright title, very strong for them, but they're gonna have to turn it on here to stop this train, as you said. Deja McLennan has been playing some really nice defense in the backcourt, middle back. Nelson tries and to again. Andy McLennan is there. Has really become an all-around player for Penn State. And a big reason why they got that point. Courtney with the kill. And you can see them. They are celebrating. <laughs> they are so into it at, together as a team. First McLennan moving a little to her left. And later, the very next swing, she reads over to her right toward the corner, getting her team. That defense gets you lots of extra swings, and that's wearing Washington down. We've got to be thinking, how do we get the ball to the floor against this team? We're getting blocked, we're getting dug. As they like to say around the Penn State program, they've got an opponent riding on the struggle bus right now. Looking for some answers, Washington. They'll try Nelson in the stuff. McClendon alongside Grant. So McClendon on defense in the backcourt, and now McClendon on defense in the front court gets her hands way across the net for the stuff. And they have a chance to go on another scoring run. Big tough serve by Prieto. Strickland stuffed. Bump outside, McClendon. Tried to put the roof on it. Back row, Van Sant. McClendon is there. They'll go back to Deja again. Man, is she doing it all? She had almost 
a, a near stuff block. And then watch her read this and approach inside out, see the daylight, and attack it for the kill. Timeout called by Washington. Really looking right now like it's Penn State. It has been one of the most dominant performances that we've seen here in the national semis in quite some time. 36 kills so far for the Penn State offense on 66 swings, only three errors. One error per set. That's a train wreck for Washington. They can find no solution to that problem. Hancock swings on two, coming back across. Micah, the back set for Grant, got it off the block. That was great by Micah Hancock. First she jumps hard and takes the swing, then she jumps hard and gets a blocker to jump with her. Easy kill for Penn State because Hancock attracts attention. We talked about in, that in semifinal number one. Coach Kelly Sheffield for Wisconsin wants his setter, his freshman setter, Lauren Carlini, to do that same kind of thing, be more offensive. Strickland. Tooling that one off of Hancock. Point you to. And you could see Washington trying. They know they've got to generate more energy. I think they're doing that, but now they got to do something at the service line. They are a good serving team, but Penn State has been controlling them. They do again there. Easy kill because of the perfect pass from the Libero Gonzalez. No answer for McClendon tonight. 11th kill for Deja. Perfect pass right on the money. Lots of line to swing at. And that's a bad matchup at the net for Washington. Deja McClendon going at a smaller blocker in Cassie Strickland. That one got down in a hurry. Service error from Hancock. Well, communications made her, uh, made her. She was asking us some questions about getting into broadcasting. And we said, yeah, talk to us in about 20 years <laughs> after your professional and Olympic career is over. She wanted to Great know exactly future. how you build your, your sheets. And do you do that by hand or on computer? Oh. She, you can see her just filing it all the way in her head. Well, I've got to write down a few more superlatives <laughs> yeah. if uh, this continues. Katie Slay joining the party. Point Penn State. And how about that? Seven, or actually, yeah, seven swings for her, zero errors, and she is hitting a cool 700. Seven out of ten. Washington with just one block. By now, they should have about ten if you look at their season averages. Yeah. Nobody home there in the back row for Penn State, for Washington. Orlandini, the senior from La Cunata, California, serving. Courtney gets the point for Penn State. And if you're watching and you're scratching your head, we finally got the poor pass. The, the offense completely breaks down. And Megan Courtney hits a nice ball off the end blocker and saves Penn State, even when they don't have the first two contacts right. Penn State picks up another point. You got McClendon hitting 500, Courtney 545, Slay 700, Scott 529. Eye popping numbers right now for the Penn State attack. A lot of which is caused by the uncharacteristically, the uncharacteristic struggle that Washington's have in its service game. Normally, they put lots of pressure on their opponents create aces, near aces, and it's just not happening so far tonight. There's another good pass. Point Penn State. When you got three over 500 hitters coming at you, it's hard to figure out where you want to block on that play, what blockers you want to dedicate to to slow that Washington offense down. Washington gets one back. 
Penn State six points away from the match and the first all Big Ten final in history. If they can continue course. Now Nebraska played Wisconsin in 2000, but that was before the Huskers were in the Big Ten. And Coach Rose said, in all the years I've been in this conference, this is the strongest I've ever seen it. Feels like their team and lots of others were really well tested. All of those teams who moved into the postseason are in their right to play in the NCAA tournament. Told us yesterday that anybody could be a hero for this team with the balance that they have played with. They've all had a hand what a nice in this big lead. <laughs> and the Nittany Lions looking like they are headed to the finals for the ninth time. They lost the first three times they were in the national championship. They have won the last five trips there, including a couple on the West Coast in Hawaii and Sacramento. They beat Wisconsin twice during the regular season, both 3 nothing sweeps. And Wisconsin will be the first to tell you, so what? We believe we can win the national championship, and that's how they played today in upsetting Texas. Hancock. Penn State pouring it on. London. Back outside of Deja. Good dive by Orlandini. And off the block and out wide. Point Washington. Is there a bigger surprise for you tonight, the Wisconsin upset or the effectiveness of which Penn State is uh, almost dispatching Washington here? I think they're both equally huge. These two teams look. There's the move that Washington needed a whole lot more of. Only the second block. But these two teams look so strong and fought through such adversity last Saturday in the regionals, their respective ones. Looked like it was going to be a great match on paper. And then Wisconsin taking down the number one seed. Not many people were calling that. Another point for Washington. Well, either way, if Penn State can pick up a couple of points, we'll have an historic Saturday night. The first championship for Wisconsin as the lowest seeded team to ever win the title, or a sixth championship for Penn State, which would tie Stanford for the most in history. Big nights for the setter, Micah Hancock, and the big swinger, Deja McClendon. Micah Hancock has been so effective in so many ways. Run a nice offense for Penn State. Got going at the service line when she's had her troubles at times this season. And been strong at the net, attacking, and then Deja McClendon has get, watch her, how far she gets those hands across, how high she attacks here. So good at seeing, seeing the daylight, she's leading her team, looking all of her teammates in the eye, making physical contact with them. Just a couple of plays ago, she was imploring them, look, all we need is two. Even though they have that huge lead, she's not letting up on the gas, and you need somebody like that to get past a great Washington team on its essentially its home floor. They are already owners of the greatest run in volleyball history with four consecutive national championships. Two of those seasons going back to back undefeated. At one point they had a 109 match winning streak and that senior class in 2007 never lost a tournament match. They won four national championships. Is this the latest in the Penn State legacy? 
not a bad record, 24-0 in the postseason. I'll that, take it. Yeah, that'll work. Hancock, got it. Match point, Nittany Lions. for Penn State to try and end it. Courtney to Hancock to Slay in the middle and it's over. Penn State will play for a record tie. Six national championships Saturday night against Wisconsin.